for the rest of her life. Right, right. And this is another reason why a lot of our women are really psychotic because they have so many different men's DNA inside them that they have so many different tendencies and right. different um, habits of all of those multiple men. Right, right, right. You see, and on top of that, they're indecisive on top of that. Yeah, basically. You see, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. in this day and age, you're absorbing all these male frequencies, all these male DNA, and then on top of that, you're taught that being aggressive and being masculine is great. Right, right, right. So now you're, now that's you're that's a thousand brain, times crazier. That's that brainwashing Exactly. Shit. Yeah, yeah. So we got to be very careful, brother, on who we lay with, who we share our mindsets with, who we... Uh, amalgamate with right, right. who we talk to all type of things we have to be very careful and this is how you protect your dna and this is how you protect your frequency right right yeah they definitely you know they definitely trying to um they trying to switch us switch our role they trying to they trying to emasculate they already men. did that they ain't trying brother they already did it now it's our job to take it back and reverse it right, and this right. is why i'm here i'm an activator i'm here to destroy this shit as men we are all activators but we've been taught that we are equal to women, which right, is right. fucking nonsense. As a matter of fact, equality does not truly exist in existence because whatever is equal to the other thing has become that thing. Therefore, it's not two things anymore. Yeah. If I'm exactly equal to this table, I'm not a man. I'm a table. Basically, you understand what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 so right. to call me equal to a woman <laughs> makes me either a woman or makes that woman either a man. And it eliminates the two sexes, Basically. making an asexual being or making some type of form of uh, what they call that shit. Um androgynous slash um uh hermaphrodite okay. you see so this is fact all right yeah they trying they, they, they succeeding them yeah they have succeeded already but that's all right because like i said the transition is here and the globe is going through a cleansing right. we are going through a rise in our vibration and our dna is being activated the same way that we are rising is the same way this recessive is falling. This is why they're doing things that they can't explain no more. They don't have the right responses to the psychotic shit they do. I remember they used to shoot a nigga and go, hey, oh, oh I thought he had this. I thought I had Now they shoot you and go, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Don't they don't even have any discretion anymore right. or any civil aspect anymore to the psychotic, inhumane things they do. And this is because their genetics are becoming more pure Neanderthal. Ask a dog why he sniffs the doo-doo. Dog ain't got no answer for you because no, it's a fucking dog. That's his nature. You, that's his nature. Oh, there dog, you go. Dogs are actually scavengers, though. They're like they're like another type of scavenger. They we. And whose best friend is he? Man. Man's best friend. <laughs> man. All right. Yeah, now, what yeah. man are we talking about? We talking about mankind. Right, right, right. right. Big difference between human <laughs> man right. and mankind. Right, right. And we must understand these things and stop rejecting them as if they are untrue. Because they know it themselves. If they did not know it, why the fuck would you say one small step for man, yeah. one giant leap for mankind? Why are you differentiating these two as if they're different? Wordplay, basically. They know Because you know who you are. Right. And you know who I am. And this is why you must keep my attention on you in order to survive. Fact. They'll, they'll kill you in a minute if you hurt another animal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Don't, don't hurt a dog. <laughs> they'll but have to... here's the funny part about it. <laughs> Mike Vick could go to jail for fighting dogs. Okay. But then Palin's sitting up there with moose heads and shit. You understand what I'm saying? No sense. Of course it makes no sense. Because you're talking about recessives. Right, you're talking right. about mutants. You're talking about you're talking about a group of creatures and beings that have no respect for nature whatsoever. Right. They don't understand it. They are detached from it. Yeah, right. So therefore, their conclusions to nature is to destroy it. Basically, yeah. Simple. Everything, everything about their whole everything that they do is against nature. From, yes. From like curing diseases, like they like they take all kinds of medication, like everything that that's going to help you grows out the ground. You don't have to go to the pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. Everything, you know what I'm saying? So, and then what, what kills me, this is why this is why I talk about them so much is because you try you try to call them out for their nature, but they they try to they try to find all kinds of excuses. And, they and, reflect. Yeah, they deny they it. They reflect. They say everybody else or did they it. Ah, there you go. They pile everybody up into the same right, category right. as if it justifies your sickness. Right, right, right. That does not justify your sickness. Being a psychopath and telling me that there's another psychopath out right. there, what the fuck does that have to do with you being a psychopath? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. once again, integrity comes with a soul. 
And if these people truly had deep integrity, yeah. they would stop teaching you the same nonsense. They would hold themselves accountable right. and they would admit to certain things, but they have no integrity. Right, right. So therefore, they must always reflect. They must always reject and they must always ignore truth. And, and we must not get upset about this. We must not pay attention about it. It's the same way. I don't get upset for a fucking lion for eating a man alive. Uh, He's a fucking lion. Yeah, yeah, he does win that I need to be upset with my dumb ass self for trying to run with the lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I don't get upset for a damn alligator <laughs> chewing up a child by the, sh by the shores of a lake. Because the alligator is a fucking alligator. Right, right. So we have to stop looking at these people as, well, what's wrong with them? What do they do? They're doing this, that motherfucker. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. And Mother Earth right now is going to cleanse them as she has been doing for a while now. And they are getting cleansed. And like I told you, the only reason why you're still seeing certain type of white people is because they're not really white. Okay. But the ones that are really white, the true two strand, the true two strand. And that's another reason why you're seeing the mongoloid go crazy, too. Because okay. remember, the mongoloid is a three strand. The mongoloid is only one step above the white man. Right. This is why he was attacking us, attacking our women and beauty supplies for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're doing certain things that is unexplainable that they never did before. Right. Because once again, the transition is awakening things inside all of us. Yeah. There is no Neanderthal in you. So therefore, there's no Neanderthal to awaken. Okay. But there is 76 trillion years of divinity inside you. And therefore, you're curious about things that you were never curious about before. Right. Because something is activating inside you that needs confirmation. You see? And something is activating inside them. Right. That is going to continue to their destruction and our destruction only if we breed ourselves and mix ourselves with them. Okay. As long as we separate and make sure we protect our DNA and our frequency, we don't have nothing to worry about. All these movies they make about the end of the world on this dumb shit. I find right, it hilarious right. that every time they make a fucking movie <laughs> about the end of the world, you look into the crowd, there's like three black people. Basically. Motherfucker, we are the dominant force on the whole planet. Right, right. Why every movie you show me with a world coming to an end and a crowd of 10 million people, only about five of them is Negroes? You know, what are you telling me? Right, right. What are you trying to convince me? But see, it, it, it's not working. And right, this is right. why a lot of these movies are flopping. Because we're not falling for it no more. We're becoming awakened now. And their fucking time is up. Period. They're their own worst enemy. But I'm not sure if they are aware of it. It's like you said, a uh, parasite without no host. Will feed on itself. Yeah. And I think that's what's going on in Europe. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. their, their population, like you said, it, it is dying down. And then um, from what I heard, the Muslims, I think the Muslims are taking over Europe. And um, the birth rate, the birth rate in Europe is low. It's lower than the yeah. death rate. Excuse me. It's, uh, yeah, it's, that's, it's lower. They are dying right. way more than they're producing. Right, right, right. That's another part of the cleansing, though. Yeah. They can't produce themselves. This is another reason why they're pushing the interracial agenda. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's I That's why they're doing that. Right, right. Because the same thing that saved them, hmm, about 800, no, 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 no. Yeah, about 800 years ago in Europe, yeah. which was the amalgamation with the Moors, okay. <laughs> is the same thing they're trying again to save themselves again. But right, it right. doesn't matter because it's not going to work. Right, their, right. Their, their time is up. They have stretched out their time long enough. Right, right, right. And we've helped them stretch out their time, to be honest with you. But their time is up, and they're, it's over soon, man. So our focus needs to be off of them and back onto us. Let's get the relationship between the black woman and the black man back together. Right, right. Let's rebuild the home and the foundation of black families. Let's preserve the indigenous mindset and cultures that we had before colonization right. and re-raise those. Yeah, I think the media is pushing that interracial stuff. Though, Ain't no you, thought about it. It's a fact. You see, you see, you see, uh, all kinds of rappers, and that, it's like that's like that's like a big the deal. movies. Right, right, right. They've just made Get Out was just a movie to sensitize you or right. desensitize you to the fact that they're stealing your melanin, they're looking for mitochondrial DNA, right, and they're right. taking your body parts and your organs. All the other movies they made prior to Get Out and after is all about black women with white men. Basically. Matter of fact, they got a new movie with a with a fat black woman and a and a white man. It's another movie. I gotta check it out. They keep it. they keep making these movies pushing this interracial agenda. And if right. you notice, they ain't pushing the agenda with the black man and a white woman. They pushing the agenda with the black woman and a white man. Why is that? 
Because the black woman holds mitochondrial DNA to the entire planet. Okay. So if they come through her womb, right. they're guaranteed to stretch out their existence. They don't give a fuck about no black man fucking a white woman. Right. Because right. that white woman don't have mitochondrial DNA. Okay. So therefore, even though she can create an amalgamation that can last longer, she does not hold the 76 trillion years aspect in her blood like the black woman does so this is why the white men are trying their best to push this black woman white man agenda well, what's, what's my, mitochondrial DNA mitochondrial DNA is the DNA that is linked to every organism and every how would you say human in existence on this planet okay, remember I got you, I got the you. black mother gave birth to every form of species and race that you call a race she is okay. the only woman that can give birth to two children that completely look different Right, right, okay, right, right. she could give birth to a light skin, and I seen this for a fact in the same building we in the back of right now. The the girl, um, the woman upstairs, she had a set of twins. One was a boy who was dark skin with wide open eyes, wow. and the other was a girl who was light skin with chinky eyes. Okay, okay. What you think they gonna go off and produce? They're gonna produce a whole nother set of people yeah. that's melanated, right, that's right. black people, right, right. but that look different. Okay. Remember, there's nine branches of black people on this planet. Okay. If you look at ancient tribes like the Bantu, they look like Chinese people, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're black. Okay. You see, you have the Watutsi. These are tall statured people. Right. There's different branches of black people on the planet because the melanin and the mitochondrial that we hold right. has the ability to make every single race involving melanin. Basically, yeah. Okay, now we're not talking about the white man. The white man did not come out of a black vagina. We got to cut that shit out. She did not give birth to the white man, all right? Yeah. So we got to cut that shit out. That shit is die. I can't stand when people try to say, oh, oh, he's an albino. No, he's not an albino. Right. And I know for a fact because I have an albino brother and sister. And guess what? My albino sister wow. who got nappy ass fucking hair, okay. who got not even bleach skin because her skin is yellow, okay. who got yellow light skin, yeah. who got green eyes. Guess what her children look like? Niggas. Yeah, 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 basically. So if they were albino, they wouldn't keep reproducing white people. Right, right. Because albino is just the lack of a certain form of melanin pigmentation in your skin. It doesn't mean you're not black. It doesn't mean that, yeah. It doesn't you see what I'm saying? Right. And if you look at an albino, they got the same nappy hair, the same nigga nose, the same nigga lips, the same everything. Right. They just don't have no pigmentation. Yeah. So we got to cut that dumb shit out yeah. and realize that what they call melanin, the, the, the minute microscopic amount that they have is sulfur based. Right. They do not have EU melanin, U melanin. They do not have the E-U-M-E-L-A-N-N-I-N melanin that we have. We have what's called U melanin with a selenium base and we have an abundance of it. This is why anything we touch, all of a sudden it gets brown eyes, black hair, curly hair, dark skin, tan skin. Anything we touch automatically, it does that right. and this is why every time they lay with anybody that's not themselves i don't give a fuck if it's a damn chinese motherfucker right. the baby come out chinese right, right, right. because they are not the dominant genetic on the planet and why are they not the dominant genetic because they are not the template of all humans on the planet fact right, right. and it's simple as that okay. simple as that brother okay. i ain't got nothing else i was about to check out how much time i hope this thing still up Ah, beautiful. Still going, still going. Yeah, I could break this down. I could break this down. But absolutely, brother, let's okay. let's let's do it in summaration. In summary, please stop paying attention to these white people. Yeah. I know you live in a white world, brother. I know, you know, we ain't gonna put all your business out there, but please, brother. Do not fall for their tricks. Right, right. Do not fall for the trolls on the internet. Okay. Do not fall for them provoking you. We was kings. We was yeah, that's yeah. provoking you, man. I know, I know. That's that trying to get your attention. It's like, wow. Do not fall for the blackface. Now let me give you a little history behind the blackface. Yeah. You know where the blackface came from that we feel so offended about? The blackface came during the time in Europe when the Moors was ruling all of Europe and the Moors would have masquerade parties and not let white people in. You know what the white people used to do to try to get in? Paint this up <laughs> black. This is this is absolute documented proof. We used to have masquerade parties. Right, right. This is where all this shit come from. Okay. Remember, they got no rhythm. Yeah, yeah, How the yeah, fuck yeah. they gonna make parties with dances and all this shit? Right, right. You see, that's our shit. Yeah. You see, and when we would have these parties, these exclusive parties, they would paint their faces black and put a mask over it right, 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 and right. try to get in. Right. So every time you see a white person in blackface, yeah. just know they are on their knees yeah, yeah. worshiping you. Basically. Okay. That's all they're doing. Don't get offended by that. Laugh at it. Because they're worshipping you. Right, right, right. And that's what they've done since you've ruled over them in Europe. 
But you know what I realized? They give us a lot of attention. You, you tell me I'm not supposed to give them attention, but they get. But us. they need to because yeah. they can't survive without you, <laughs> duh. Right. They and they have nothing without you. Right. So can't. what the hell? What else are they gonna pay attention to? Everything, everything in existence, every form of technology, every form of so-called prestige, right. um, intellect, universities, um, all these things that we find special, none of it came from them. Basically not. If they if they focus on themselves alone, you know what they got? Pedophilia, yeah. bestiality, okay, okay. Uh, murder, rape, uh, genocide. Uh-huh. They don't have nothing. Right, right, right. They don't have nothing. If you even look at all the inventions, what do you find out? All the inventions invented by slaves. Right. When you start digging through these inventions, you find out there's a nigga behind them every single time. They have nothing. Stop giving them credit. Stop giving them attention. And literally watch how they will collapse overnight. So we got to stop this shit, man. We got to stop this shit. You know what? I'm going to cut this joint short right here.